Will you stop accepting phone calls from the Chinese Super League? They're really starting to get under my skin. Hey guys, RC here back with episode six of our Bielsa Journeyman. Let's take a look at the Real Madrid highlights, then we'll get into some business. Santin takes a crack at the goal. It falls to Gonzalez, who slides it across the face of the goal, and only 22 seconds into the match, and we are beating Real Madrid 1-0. In the third minute, Mecca brings it up the channel, stays on the ball, lays it into Ilamarindi, our newest striker, and he puts it in for another tally on the score sheet, and it's Levante 2, Real Madrid 0. It would stay that way until the 25th minute. Big ball out to Schmidt, who crosses it over. Navarro misses a header. Moreno puts in a goal. Keep an eye on that matchup for sure, and it's Real Madrid 1, Levante 2. A foul that VAR got involved in, and English slots at home. English was a sub in this. And there's Kovac and English fighting for the ball. English heads it over to Moreno, who steps over Navarro. It deflects off of Fernandez, our center back, and then Moreno beats Pernan for his second goal of the match, and we fall 3-2 to two as Moreno scores the game winner in the 86th minute. Uh, just a reminder, hit the like button, subscribe for daily football manager content. Much appreciated. All right, let's get into what's going on. All right, taking a look at the schedule. Uh, we had the one match against Val Valladolid. We beat them 1-0. We don't need to watch that. I was trying to just to click on it here. Uh, Miguel Ilamarinde uh, got a goal there. That's three in a row since he joined the club. So he's off to a hot start and really showing his worth. Two wins and now the loss in those three appearances. We're going to be playing Valencia in the Spanish Cup fourth round today. What's going on is we are getting inundated with um, release clause offers by Chinese Super Leagues. Uh, DL Pro is one of the ones that's really getting under my skin. They've come over, they've come in with a bid for Brian Ibanez. And uh, he's got 12 goals in 20 matches. He is playing very well. But he's lost that striker position and is now looking to compete on the wing. So I, I think I would like him out there. I think he's our best option over Garcia now. But he doesn't like playing out there. So that's going to be troubling. But anyway, um. They've met his $33 million release clause. Of course, we've gotten offers on Gonzalez. That, and the good thing is the players are rejecting the contracts. So we haven't lost anybody yet. Of course, we signed Ilamarinde thinking we were losing Gonzalez, and then he stayed. So now I've spent $8.5 million that I didn't need to spend. Now, what we've also done with Ibanez being looked at is we have brought in Giuseppe Corbetta on trial. And he looks really good. They want, I mean, I could sign him for end of contract. And you know what? I may do it anyway. He's listed for $3.4 million. What does he want? Squad player. See, God dog it. Can I? I can't just get rid of that. All right. Well, he's good enough to bring in. He's going to be depth for us. And somebody that hopefully is there in the event that things go haywire. We do have a the derby match coming up. Is that, um, yes, Valencia is one of our fierce rivals. Uh, so this is a derby. I wonder if they have a name for that derby. If you know, let me know in the comments. I should look it up, I suppose. But they are fierce rivals. Uh, they're our biggest rival. Let me know how the key clicking is working on the microphone here. Uh, I had to get a new, uh, a new keyboard. I got one of the quieter ones, but I, I, still, I still hear it. And yeah, we're going to reject that. That one's in for Gonzalez. Now we've got him listed for loan. First choice goalkeeper. Yeah, and we've got him listed. So yeah, we'll go ahead and accept that. That's a transfer. We'll reject that. They wanted a loan on this guy. 
No, they wanted to transfer Valencano. Um, he's got a 1.2 million. They offered like 550,000. And I raised it up to 1.2, but it was like with installments and stuff that they'd be able to defer. And they've pulled their bid. So, eh, whatever. All right, we're going to go with Pernan in goal, a back four of Garay, Fernandez, Kovac, and Martinez, Mecca, Adria, Segoba, and Santin in the mid, Gonzalez and Ibanez going to partner up top. Uh, so Gonzalez, uh, we rejected that offer. Ibanez, that's still in process. And we have uh, Nandrick Ness, just to remind you, he's out injured for another four weeks. Uh, Corbota. Corbetta, we have not heard back from him. It's just been a couple of days. Uh, Ibanez still looking at his contract situation. Enrique's out injured for another three weeks. And Florian LaRue out for three weeks. I need to unfilter our B team here just to make that a little more manageable. There we go. So you can see we still have a, a slightly large squad. So we're, we're trying to get rid of a couple of these guys. Uh, but let's get to it, see what we can do. Valencia are currently 16th in the table in the league. Let's go with the revenge factor. We'll encourage them here in the early going. I was editing one of the uh, videos for the other series this morning. And I was still amazed at how the game deleted the uh the score for the club that was up against us and there's another tackle by mecca but goes right to blanco kovac heads it out there's segoba plays it up to gonzalez that's a brilliant ball and rodriguez cut the angle there gonzalez really couldn't get any mustard on that ball Three shots here in the early going. Mecca already tired. All right, that was probably an oversight on my part. He's playing well, though, a 6'8", 6'9". Blanco for Valencia. Santin slid through him. I don't know how that wasn't a penalty, but looks like he got all, all ball. And we may have gotten away with one there. Another tap away. Oh, look at that ball. All the way down into the corner. And there's a shot from range. Pernan knocks it aside, sets up a corner. That was some good ball movement, though. Santine's now tired. Mecca's tired. That one's headed out. Gonzalez cannot get to it. And we'll be happy, I think, just to get into the locker room. Mecca is still tired. Let's go ahead and pull him off. We'll bring on Zemo. Now, he is more left side. He's better as an inverted winger. So let's do that for him on support. Now, if I do that, let's just make him a central midfielder on support so he doesn't push up quite as high. Uh, everybody else, I think recovered yeah we're good there all right we're going to pump the fist revenge again zemo on for mecca santine's tired again already near post and what a save by ojeda oh my goodness i thought that was going in what was that that was one of the weirdest keeper graphics i've ever seen he looks like he was going to punt it long, and it, like, sliced off the side of his foot. All right, we're doing some triangles inside the box. That's, uh, that's dangerous. Adria loses it. Kovac cuts off the pass. Oh, there's a nice through ball. Gonzalez runs onto it. And it went off the woodwork and did not cross the line. Oh, that was an unlucky bounce. Unlucky bounce. We're going to see if we can keep Santine going maybe another five minutes. All right, let's go ahead and pull him off. A few minutes early. Domingo Cora. We'll bring him on on the right side. And then Segoba just uh, fell off the earth. Adria as well. 
All right, got to pay a little more attention to that, I think. And Kovac on the header, off the corner. And that puts us up 1-0. The Levante fans go wild. Cora just in, makes the set-piece play near post to Kovac. Nice little slick header in at the near post. Kovac is now tired. All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and pull another sub here. But I think, geez, I don't know if I have anybody over there, do I? I don't have anybody that could play mid-center. Well, I could bring Zemo back. Let's do that. Let's bring Zemo. Let's bring Zemo in for Sagoba. We'll keep him as the playmaker. And then Sagoba will bring mid-left. Let's bring Garcia in for him. Now, Garcia, he doesn't need to be inverted. Let's just make him a... Let's just make him a winger on attack. Oh, if we're going to do that, though, I need to switch him back to a box-to-box. -box. All right. We start building. Adria, nice ball up to Gonzalez. Knocked away by Rodriguez. They have two, two Rodriguez's back there. Confusing. Oh, come on, defense. Kovac tries to kick it away. Fails. Kovac misses a tackle. Another deflection right to Blanco again. And Pernan makes the huge save. Let's praise. Come on, boys. Hold on. Four minutes of stoppage time. All right, we're on the ball. Garcia. Too soft. Ibanez can't get to it. That was not a good pass. Come on, defense. Another tackle. All right, Garcia's on that. Over the top. Ibanez runs onto it. And it's saved by the keeper. Another save by the keeper. The ball goes wide. We're back on it. Garay gets it up into the attacking third. There's a nice ball in, but Gonzalez can't quite get to it. Ojeda's on it. Lumps it out. Oh, Martinez, what are you doing? Oh, and there's a foul. That's going to set up a set piece. Oh, these are, oh, don't concede here. Head it out. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. We're 30 seconds over. Thank you. We'll walk out of here with a 1-0 victory. Very, very closely contested game, but we will take that. A good win. Motivate the boys. Keep them up. Nothing better than beating Valencia. Get in there. Boring, boring Levante. Wow. Okay. All right. You'd rather be... Ex well, I mean, I, I don't think we were boring. We had 11 shots. Kovac, man of the match, player of the game. We will praise that. All right. We do have the fifth round in two days, so let's get to that real quick. Have the draw. And we may have some transfer news as well because the transfer window closes uh, the day after the draw. All right, here is the draw. We are in the final eight. Everybody is from the Spanish First Division, so no easy outs, I don't suppose. Hopefully we're not the easy out. And we <laughs> Shit. <laughs> of course we get Real Madrid. Of course we do. Yep. Yep. Well, like the old poker adage I like to throw out, if you have to ask who the, if you don't know who the easy out is, you probably need to look in the mirror because it's probably you. <laughs> and I'm sure Real Madrid is. Well, I don't know. Do you think Real Madrid is like, oh my God, we got to play those bastards again? <laughs> could be, could be. Let's go ahead and get through the transfer deadline. I, I'm not planning on making any moves, but just in case any of our guys go, then I'm going to be scrambling. So 
Just uh, sit tight for a minute and we'll see if anything happens. All right, here are a couple of signings. So we have signed Borgia from Vallecano uh, in a player swap for Simon or Simone. Uh, he's not very good. I think this was something that was done maybe before I was even here. I, I don't know. Uh, anyway, he's here for whatever that's worth. Uh, we sign Bertrams. We get a B-minus grade on him. Uh, just again, another young prospect. So we'll send him on a language course. Terreno, our young goalkeeper, he goes out on loan. Adria has gone out on loan till the end of the season. We have signed uh, Giuseppe Corbetta. So we have our new striker. Now, he will not join us until end of season. So that's uh, coming in later. And Jamie Romaine, somebody had gone in, uh, he popped up on my news feed uh, that Everton had made a loan offer for him till the end of the season. So, of course, I've made a loan offer. He was not interested in a uh, permanent move, but he was interested in a loan move. So we've made a loan offer for Romaine to see if we could get him in. Don't really know if I need him. But he's Jamie Romaine from from uh, from Leicester, you know. All right, Ibanez has rejected DL Pro. Uh, they want. Uh, let's see. Do I have the money for that? One hundred and sixty-seven. I think I do. I should be able to swing that. I mean, that's a good buy price too at thirty-nine million. He's twenty-seven years old, but you know that's still in his prime. You know what? I think I have to take him right. Let's take him. So he'll be in. <laughs> All right, so Jamie Romaine will be joining us on loan till the end of the season. Uh, we do have a future fee of $39 million. Did I just loan out my only other goalkeeper? Was I dumb? Oh, I was. Crap. Um, Terreno's out on loan. I really need him to go out on loan. Well, no, I don't. He's only three-star. You know what? Screw that. We're going to... Can't be canceled in the first 28 days. Son of a bitch. All right. Well, there's our new backup keeper, right? We'll move him up. Yep. There's our new reserve keeper. And we'll decline that, that question. Thanks for bringing that to my attention, though. Hopefully, Pernan does not get hurt. Uh, let's see. We did get seven hundred thousand dollars for a deal here, and we got like two and a half million for another deal. Oh, right here. Um, Juan Gabriel Ramon goes for ten million. We get two point four million. So that's nice to get a little bit of money. They've made another transfer. He's not transfer listed, guys. I'm not gonna get rid of him. So I'm pretty sure that's going to be all the moves, but you just never know. So we'll just hang out here for a minute till the end of the window. Oh, Romaine rejected our offer. Oh, you bastard. I hate him. Now I hate him. Am I not on his favored personnel? Holds you in the highest regard as a head coach. Then why aren't you coming to play for me, dude? Hello? <laughs> not happy about that. I am going to cancel that. All right, this is the guy, Madonda. Not interested. Walk away. Thank you. And then I'm going to go to my GM's office, my director of football's office, and go, hey, what are you thinking here, dude? I mean, he's not horrible, but fifth choice? I, I don't need that. We're going to withdraw that offer. Kovac out for a day or two. All right, the transfer deadline has passed. Taking a look here, player payroll expenditures, Real Madrid at $29.05 million. Uh, we are down in 17th at $3.3 million, which is the average spend. And that's well below the median of 8.69 for the entire league, uh, which, of course, is thrown off by Barca and Madrid. So, yay them. Uh, let's see. Team registration. Prior, Adria's out. I mean, I've got to got to list him, right? Nineteen. So we're sitting on thirty-two point four million. Uh, we had three million more in expenditures this month. Well, two and a half million. 
Do I come back for Real Madrid this quick? I don't know if I do or not. Because, I mean, man, we kind of need to just plow on. But as long as we keep going in this cup run, we're kind of locked in here, I suppose. Why don't I do this? Why don't we come back for Real Madrid highlights? Because we've already played them once. We played highlights against them. I mean, they are the top club. I just don't want to... I don't like having this many episodes in a row. Yes, highlights for Real Madrid, and then I'm going to skip. We'll probably come back for Barcelona. And at least then we get a run of games. What do you guys think about that? Hit the like button for me. Subscribe for daily football manager content, and we'll see you next episode. Thanks for dropping in, hanging out with me. Bye.